Last March, my little family and I spent a weekend in Las Vegas, Nevada, in order to use up some travel credits from a failed COVID trip. Although it seems odd to take kids to Vegas, there's actually a ton of fun things to do there as a family. Stay tuned to find out. March in Canada is cold, so while we had been backed into a corner and forced to use our credits or have them expire, we were also happy to take a quick holiday. We stayed in Mandalay Bay, which turned out to be an amazing resort. We spent an afternoon visiting the aquarium there, which I'll link below, as well as exploring the resort, swimming in the pools, and enjoying the Vegas sunshine. So what can you do as a family in Vegas? Well, here's my list, and this is just from one weekend. The first and most convenient activity is to just go swimming at your hotel. We enjoyed spending time in the Mandalay Bay pools. To see more about this, check out my Mandalay Bay Resort Tour, which is linked in the description box and comments below. There's even a lazy river there. Okay. While we're on the topic of Mandalay Bay, the aquarium there is huge, beautiful, and very family friendly. I won't go into detail here, as I also have another full length video on this attraction somewhere on my channel. Fun for the whole family, the Tournament of Kings is an exciting live action dinner theater where you eat with your hands. It's hosted at the Excalibur Casino and is interactive and great for kids. Again, I have a video dedicated to showcasing this specific attraction elsewhere on my channel. It is Friday morning and the kids are up and full of energy, so we decided to go walk up and down the strip and show them all of the different casinos in Las Vegas. One of my favorite things about Las Vegas is how all of the casinos come with different themes, decor, and design. From the cool indoor city of New York, New York, to the ancient Egyptian style of the Luxor, to the vibrant colors of the Bellagio, there's always something incredible to see. And a lot of the time, it's free. Whenever I'm in Las Vegas, I never miss a chance to explore the four-level M&M store. Of course, this place is a dream for kids. It features M&M stuffies, t-shirts, blankets, and toys galore, 
every shade of M&M ever created, and even a machine that enables you to make customized M&Ms. Of course, when you go to the M&M store, you have to buy the personalized M&M. If you aren't an M&M fan, maybe try Hershey's Chocolate World instead. It's only two floors, but there's still lots for kids and adults alike. Guys, look at her, she's made out of chocolate. Let's go see the second floor. The whole store smells like chocolate. It is perfection. A little bonus idea for you is the Coca-Cola store, which is also pretty interesting for a retail store. The Klein Vegas Ropes Course, located in the Strat Hotel's Harmon Retail Corner, recently closed its doors. I'm still including it here because it was such an awesome experience, and I hope it reopens soon somewhere again in Vegas. We're gonna do it? We're gonna do it! The Ropes Course had you harnessed and clipped in, then challenged you to climb to the very top on balance beams, suspended steps, swinging ropes, rolling bars, and more. It was freaky, but fun. A super family-friendly restaurant in Vegas, located on the strip in Harmon Corner, is the Rainforest Cafe. I have an entire video dedicated to this place on my channel, which I'll link below. But this place has everything. Animals, jungle vines, and even a lightning storm. While I wouldn't actually book a room at this casino, it does have a really fun arcade for families and the Big Top Show, complete with magicians, jugglers and trapeze artists, is totally free to watch. Again, I have a full length video about this if you want to learn more. Just a funny story for the first-timers to Vegas. As we were strolling the streets on the Strip, 
my daughter saw these ladies dressed up as showgirls. They offered to take a photo with us, but I said no thanks, knowing it's never free. My daughter really wanted one, however, and the ladies said, oh, just donate whatever you can. So I fished some singles from my pocket. However, in the end, they had guilt tripped me into much more. So I just got hosed, ended up paying 20 bucks for those photos with the showgirls, but Abby really wanted pictures with them, and then I didn't realize how much it was gonna cost me. Of course, there's a ton more to see and do with kids in Vegas than just what's on this video. There's the Bellagio fountains, the high roller Ferris wheel, the rides at the stratosphere, the gondola rides. Maybe next time I go to Vegas with my kiddos, I can expand on this list for a part two. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a big old thumbs up and share it out online. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments as well. If you're a returning subscriber, it's great to have you back on my channel. I appreciate your support. And if you're new, please consider subscribing and joining my YouTube community. Help my channel grow.